Um, so casinos across the state have not proven to be the economic panacea that they've been that they've promised. Um, slots and table games will be a bigger will blow a bigger hole in our state budget. Um, and Sugar House will soon be laying off workers, just like Bethlehem Sands has in the last few weeks. Um, and not once has anyone today mentioned any of the costs that casinos will bring. Um, so I'm glad that James will be talking, will be speaking to that. Um, also, I think it's unacceptable that a government agency not allow the public to decide at the time of the hearing to testify based on what they've heard. Um, so I'm going to give the rest of my testimony to Andrew, please. Okay. Um, again, what Lily says, I, I've sat here, I've been at many, many of the meetings, and I have never once heard a member of this committee ask a challenging or probing question of these people. You have given them every opportunity to tell about their wonderful access to the river, the uh, providing training and the writing of their resumes, and all the other marvelous things that you're doing. You have not ever talked about the 70% of the profits of the casinos, which are made from, from problem gamblers or gambling addicts who are also members of our community um, and are going to cost this community a whole lot of money in, because of the bankruptcies, broken families, divorces, suicides, and other social manifestations uh, of gambling. We have never heard you challenge or talk about any of these issues, and I think you should be ashamed of yourselves. You've provided a venue for the glorification of this predatory enterprise, and I think you have abandoned your responsibility to the people of Pennsylvania and the people of Philadelphia, and I think you should be ashamed. <coughs> Um, and I would just like to add a final comment as a resident of Philadelphia. I live in Bella Vista. Um, I used to live in Northern Liberties. And, um, and just in addition to that, I just want to say that um, I've been living in Philadelphia for about seven years now. And I very much love this city. And my opposition to the predatory tactics of uh, a slots parlor is because of how much I love this city. And I think that um, there's a lot of talk about the initial revenue, the initial jobs that will be created. But um, we've already seen from Bethlehem Sands, from Rivers Casinos, that the revenue that is projected to be generated is not possible in this economy. And that I think that building another casino is just adding to this oversaturation and it's just going to decimate our community over the long term. And I live in this city and I don't want to see that happen. Uh, <coughs> recent uh, <coughs> survey of all the research on casinos pointed out that when casinos don't draw from the local community exclusively and don't uh, take all their, um, send all their business to the local community, uh, they cost jobs, okay? Uh, and surveys of gambling in states across the country have shown they don't bring economic development. That's what the research says, okay? <coughs> that doesn't even include opportunity costs. So, development on the riverfront in San Antonio is expected to generate 50,000 jobs and $1 billion in local revenue. Okay, compare that to 800 jobs that Sugar House is promising. And what we've seen and what we've heard before probably won't even be able to deliver. Okay, that's nothing. For this kind of investment, for this kind of money, 800 jobs. The kind of opportunity cost for development along the riverfront. We've seen stalls along the riverfront because casino interests have bought up the land and sat on it until they could get these laws passed. So the casinos are not exactly saving us anything. The casino interests are the ones that have stopped development this whole time. And there's no reason to expect they're going to be any more enthusiastic about development now. So, the other thing uh, that the recent report shows is that average wages go down, even if jobs are created when casinos come into the area. So this is not going to bring economic development. This is not going to bring added revenue. <coughs> Costs by education 
are outpaced by casino revenues across the country. We are going to lose money. That's what the evidence shows, and I have not ever heard any evidence presented by casinos to show anything different. And it's not like that. Because other people have looked, I've looked, it's just not there. The board has no evidence, the casinos have no evidence. And so the facts as they stand really are, this is going to cost us jobs, this is going to cost us revenue, this is not good for our city. Thank you.